Hi there Gemini, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your monthly work and money reading for August. Gemini, let's get started. I'm going to work with the Sacred Power reading cards first to get sort of some overarching themes or messages. We will then go to the Angels of Abundance, followed by the Tarot Story. We have got angel assistance. Yeah, some of you might be feeling like you need a little bit of support this month. And it's really saying, you know, you are protected and guided by your spiritual team or your higher self, depending on what you believe in. Rest. Yeah, I mean, so maybe some of you have been pushing too hard or working overtime or extra hours, especially if you are an essential worker in this time. And so the cards are saying maybe you need some deep rest more than normal. Let's see what the Angels of Abundance say for you, Gemini. I think I'll take those two there. <laughs> Have courage to ask for help. Ask for and accept help. Well, ask for your angel assistance and you shall receive. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when we ask for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. Absolutely. That's pretty much the first card repeated there. And we have got take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Gemini, are you needing rest because you're burnt out from a previous role or opportunity? Are you wanting to move forward into a new venture? Let's find out. It's saying maybe you need to call on your team to give you guidance to maybe help you manifest that. Remove the blocks and obstacles that may stand in your way. Going to wait for the first book. Yeah, because I mean, some of you might have gone through a tough situation in a previous job or an employee job or something like that. Justice, I mean, you might have had to get your contract out, see what your rights are. And I think now you're wanting to take a divinely guided chance. Yeah, because maybe um, somebody... Uh, Definitely did a wrong by you here, but here comes the chance, page of cups. Divinely guided chance is absolutely the energy of the page of cups. Let's clarify this and then we'll draw, um, draw your specific money cards, Gemini. Yeah, there could have been some kind of deception or underhanded stuff going on in your, in your workplace and you, you've decided to leave. I think it's had an impact on your physical health as well. You're now needing rest, but you're also wanting to move in a new direction now. I think you've had a had enough. It's probably put you off uh, the past way of working. And now you're wanting to take a chance to step into something new, potentially something very different to your normal kind of work, your passion project. Six of cups. Yeah. Time to get back into balance. We've got Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands, yeah. So this, on the other side of this justice, is good news, Knight of Wands, and it's going to bring you closer to your wish fulfillment, which I think the Page of Cups is kind of like the starting point of that. So I love to see Knight of Wands when justice is in a reading because the Knight of Wands is the messenger of good news. So it says here that I think that you were had some kind of wrong done to you and that is going to be righted and oh the empress with the page of cups <laughs> i mean that's the energy that wants to actually take this idea and make it tangible for you i've got the devil at the bottom of this deck guys yeah you are dealing with some kind of manipulative force i mean people in power in the workplace it's just so common to find that kind of energy unfortunately especially in the corporate world people power tripping you know what I mean, Gemini. Let's get your money cards out. There's too many in one stack. So it's time for a change. 
and it's a divinely guided change. Take Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, it's saying here that if you refocus your energies, the abundance will follow. Another finance card, please, for Gemini. But it's going to come after moving away <laughs> so you can move towards wish fulfillment. Oh my god, you got that twice, guys. Wonderful energy. Oh, look who's at the bottom of the deck again. Guys, the tarot is just doing this all over the place at the moment. We finished on the devil in both decks. You absolutely have been coming out of a devil situation. Let's just get a look at these two together. It's called oppression in the Star Child Tarot deck, and it's the devil and the rider. And it can be the illusion that you've been buying into, or the illusion that somebody else has been putting over you, you know, sort of casting spells, showing you one side, being two faced with you, manipulating you. Maybe, you know, you had some injustice in the workplace, or somebody, um, you know, even telling you that you're going to get promoted or get a pay rise and it just doesn't deliver. It's all that kind of nasty energy. And it can also be debt or funny things going on with investments and finances as well. So I'm actually going to go a little intuitively here and read these two together. So that's pretty much this energy that I'm talking about. Seven of Swords. Somebody has been doing a sly on you or you've experienced an undermining... undermining, undermining uh, underhanded behavior or someone chopping you down and, and, you know chopping you off at the knees in your workplace situation or finances it can be physical loss of money as well and um, can be a betrayal by a, a colleague or a mentor or boss as well but it's time for justice which is amazing and good news is going to come to your way so I feel like this is the month that wrongs are righted there might actually be a legal situation here for some of you where you get your work contract out, you review it, you might even have to, to bring it to a sense of, of, of legal action. And that is going to rebalance these scales, you know, wrongs are going to be righted here. So, I mean, I know that's kind of heavy energy for some of you, but we've got all the good cards to, to follow that up. Six of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so there's a sense here that the justice from the situation is going to bring you into balance. Six of Cups shift you to a greater sense of harmony, to more peaceful times, to smoother sailing. We've got the Six of Swords here as well, so we've got double number six. There's a sense of healing here after that injustice and getting your energy in the right place. Now we've got the page, sorry, the Knight of Wands here, which can be good news, a com positive communication. So this could be that, you know, there is a positive outcome on this justice situation for you because I think it's very clear that you are on the receiving end here. And the thing about the justice energy is it works out for the person it's meant for, not for the person that wants it. You know, karmic injustice, injustices are always righted in the end. So that is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands in this whole justice situation is coming in to shift you onto your true purpose when it comes to work and how you earn your money here, Gemini, because this divinely guided change that's coming after the situation here is to move you into the work that you're supposed to be doing, what lights you up, what you're passionate about, you know, what's what you're going to be really enthusiastic about, and it's really going to lead to a, a really great sense of fulfillment for you. Nine of Cups, I mean, we've got that twice in this reading, and Nine of Cups is the, the card of wish fulfillment, but it's also the card of proud achievement that comes because you've made it happen, you've done the hard work, you might have gone through the harder times, but it's going to pay off. That's what it's saying, Gemini. The hard work is going to pay off, and also what you're journeying at the moment also. And Gemini, here comes your divinely guided change, the Empress with the Page of Cups. Yeah, I mean, the Page of Cups can also be a messenger. It's a messenger of change, and it says, expect the unexpected. And when I see this in a work and career reading, I often say that the Page of Cups could stand for either that creative side project that 
could grow into you know your next big thing your, the way you make your money it could mean follow your passions follow that creative idea follow what's on purpose for you um, it can also mean that maybe an unexpected um, offer is going to come in for you that's going to to fulfill you emotionally as well so that's really interesting and the Empress is the biggest card of possibility in the tarot so she is saying there is huge possibility in whatever this creative venture or this um, it could be that you're pursuing an employee job or something like that but it's in something quite different to what you're doing now and it might be quite something something that's not as traditional that's something that's not on the well-worn path something quite quirky something something uh, just different I know I've said that five times in a row but um, yeah that's what I'm seeing here something maybe more quirky is what I was trying to say and the Empress as an energy is she stands for blessings she uh, stands for abundance and she's fertile with possibility so she wants to take whatever this idea is and and birth it for you to make it a physical tangible um, new start so seeing these together, I mean, this is definitely the divine guide, divinely guided change, and it's the promise that this can become abundant for you as well. So it's really positive energy there, Gemini. Now over and specifically in money, yeah, I think this is saying that, you know, once you move away from whatever that situation was, that justice situation, that's when you're actually going to achieve what you truly want to the the abundance you you fully deserve and desire um, because it's, it's saying here that there's probably a certain amount of emotional turmoil that was associated with that situation and you can't really the the kind of law of attraction or the manifestation doesn't really work when we're in a place of of feeling bad so it's saying that once you kind of move on to smoother sailing and try not to take the baggage with you the swords of the past that's when things start to rebalance and heal and fall into place for you and it's saying here that the Queen of Pentacles you know it's whatever you focus on now Gemini has the ability to to become abundant I mean Queen of Pentacles is the the partner of the King of Pentacles they are excellent at business they're excellent at building abundance and the thing about the Queen of Pentacles is the card of Capricorn is that she has danced with the devil we had the you know the double devils in this reading she is the one that has moved away from what doesn't serve her, moved away from what is toxic for her, moved away from any narcissists that have held her back in the workplace or people that didn't have her best interests at heart. And she's maybe going it alone and she's refocusing her energy somewhere else on her true purpose. And she knows that that's going to lead her to the achievements and successes that she desires those proud achievements, the nine of cups, and it's when we're fulfilled in our work and we're happy and we, you know, we love it, that's when the abundance follows. They say if you do what you love, Gemini, you never work another day in your life. So I definitely see you moving towards that. It's going to have a positive impact on your money as well. And you know, you're getting rid of some good riddance to some bad rubbish here in your work situation. So Gemini, I wish you all the best with it, what is quite a powerful and exciting reading. Uh, the divinely guided chance is, is amazing and I really look forward to seeing how that plays out for some of you. Do keep in mind this is a general reading for the collective with general energies. It won't be for everyone but it will be though for those it's meant to, meant for. <laughs> Sorry, I've done a few readings today. Um, feel free to leave me a comment if you are called to share. I do read each and every one, try and respond to as many as I can. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with the energies and I'll see you throughout the month for plenty more readings. Mm -hmm.